It's just something about Puerto Rico that, I, that we love it so much. It's always going to be my home. Puerto Rican pride. Oh, what a play from J.J. Barea. J.J. is looking dynamite. The littlest guy on the floor does it again. Jose Juan Barea, better known as J.J., grew up in Puerto Rico, but has become the pride of Dallas during the Mavericks' playoff run. Wow, Barea just taking over the game. People often describe you as a pest on the court. Why is that? Well, I guess the other team gets annoyed. I can see that the big guys, the other big guys, they don't like guarding me. Correa, oh, look at that. Oh, God. And his bite him, he will be ejected, and that's one of the biggest push league things I've ever seen. While the hits he's taken on the court have been tough, so was the road he's taken to the NBA. He started playing basketball at the age of four on an island better known for baseball. Basketball took over. Yeah, and we were all basketball now in Puerto Rico. Yeah, baseball's still there, but uh, basketball is, is number one sport right now. After high school, Berea traded warm weather for cold New England winters to play at Northeastern University in Boston. In 2006, he graduated as the school's second all-time leading scorer. Undrafted, the Mavericks signed him that summer as a free agent, where he's developed as a key role player. Berea, bang! While Berea's teammates all agree on what he brings to the court, there's one little thing they can't agree on, his height. According to the team's media guide, Berea is listed as six feet tall. No, 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 no. He's, he's not six foot. He's not six foot. He's probably, he's probably, he's probably five nine with heels on six one. <laughs> you know, he spikes his hair up like that just to gain an inch. So uh, he might be 5'8 with the spiked hair. We playing the Clippers. It's yeah. dead quiet in there. He's on the line. And some guy just yells out. It's funny. Who put uh, the baby in the game? Our whole bench was laughing. How tall are you? I'm 5'10 and a half, 5'11. Around there somewhere. The way he plays, though, 6'6. Six, six. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> For Berea, it all comes back to where he's from. The people in Puerto Rico. They, they're enjoying this more than anybody else. Puerto Rican pride. Can't describe it as, as everything. Breaks down the deep into the drive, to the hoop, throws it in. Timeout, Portland. Coming on a three, Terry leaked out. He'll take the shot, he'll flush it. 93-82, Dallas wins game five. They take a 3-2 series lead. Nowitzki open. Dirk Nowitzki in the fourth. Can Dallas finally get it done? J.J. Perea. Perea, a big three. Wallace with the steal. going to take this first round series against Portland in a game six on the road, Kevin. The Dallas Mavericks are moving on to face the Los Angeles Lakers in round two. And the Los Angeles area field is a must game for the Lakers. Correa beats Odom off the dribble. Wow, Correa just taking over the game. It's like the crowd is just desperate for something to cheer for. So finally, the Lakers hit a shot from downtown. And Artest is being injected for the elbow to the head of the red. Nowitzki, a oh. wild shot, yes, and the foul. And think of the reception that the Mavericks will receive Friday night. In the light, sweeping one of the best teams with one of the best coaches and one of the best players ever. Barea all the way home. One nice. future Hall of Famer to another, Kid Zinovitsky. Asia Stoyakovic to Terry again at the three. Oh my goodness! Jason Terry ties an NBA playoff record. Nine three-pointers made today. Correa, oh look at that. And his final, he will be ejected, and that's one of the biggest push league things I've ever seen. And 
perhaps we see Phil Jackson coach for the final time. This day belongs to the Dallas Mavericks. For the fourth time in franchise history, the Dallas Mavericks are going to the Western Conference Finals. Losing is losing. It doesn't matter. You go to Game 7, you're losing Game 7s. It sucks just the same. A lot of people are, are doubting what we can do. And, and still, you know, we, okay, we beat the Lakers. We got out the second round. Uh, the job is not finished. some new blood, some fresh faces, and an intriguing matchup. The old veterans in Dallas. And this up-and-coming team in Oklahoma City. A terrific matchup as we get set for game one in this best of seven set. Here's the back line of Vizky. Spins around and throws it down. Dravinsky. It's good. Oh! He's one of the most unique offensive weapons to ever play this game. The best jump shooting seven-footer of all time. Moran to the basket. The littlest guy on the floor does it again. Moran. Bang! He's fearless uh, off the dribble. He can finish in there with, with the best of him. On the drive. Flips it up and in. Oh, what a play. Puts it up. Puts it in. He is putting on a shooting. Oh, here we go. What you can certainly call, as we said, a pivotal game four. This place ready to explode here in the first quarter. Oklahoma City, minutes away from tying the series. Dravitsky pulls on, puts it in. Dirk Nowitzki, Dallas still fighting back. Falling away. Oh, he puts it in. Dirk Nowitzki knocks it down. Unbelievable comeback from the Dallas Mavericks. What a thrilling game five. The big question coming into this one. How would this young Thunder team respond? Stankovic wide open. Hits a three. Dallas back on top. Nowitzki again for the lead. Bang! We're talking about winning this game or going on vacation. Shot clock lining down. There he comes away with it. There he is for the dunk and he throws it down. And a foul. And the Dallas Mavericks are going back to the NBA Finals. The second time in franchise history, the Dallas Mavericks will play for the NBA championship. And five years after the fact, there's this matter of unfinished business. All I can say is there's 20 some thousand people in, in this building who believed in us when nobody else did. There's all the guys in this organization and on the court who believed in us and fought every game, every minute of the way. And all I can tell everybody is, we ain't done yet. In the Eastern Conference, the stars had aligned in Miami. Chris Bosh and LeBron James joined Dwayne Wade to form a celebrated trio that drew unprecedented national attention. And the big three were determined to live up to all the hype. LeBron James, here he comes, hitting ahead for Wade. There he goes. Oh! The house of highlights. Nice move by Chris Bosh. So skilled. And oh, Wade. No. Baseball oh, no. pass to LeBron. 92 One end to the feet. other. After rolling through the season with 58 wins, the Heat looked even more unstoppable in the playoffs. First, they dispatched the Sixers. One series down, very competitive series, but they got to prepare for the next series versus Boston, so this is what everybody's been waiting on. Yeah. And uh, We know this job been waiting on. Next up were the Celtics, the perennial contenders who knocked both James and Wade out of the playoffs a year ago. This time, the Heat returned the favor and signaled a changing of the guard in the east. Wade racing down the other end of the floor for the finish. Timeout, Boston. James down to five. James for his three. He got it! LeBron from downtown! He nails another three! And the Heat come away with the victory. The Heat would still have to overcome the NBA's top-seeded team, the Chicago Bulls. But like the previous two series, Miami wrapped up the Eastern Conference Finals in five games. Bosh! Bosh! Serving up a facial. 
Rose, defense not set, turned it over. Wade has got it. Wade down the way. Wade stepped through, layup, got it in, Wade, Wade! Down to three, down to two. Here's Rose, can he get it off? It is blocked, that will do it! The Miami Heat defeat the Chicago Bulls, and Miami is headed to the NBA Finals. Just we came together for to get back to the finals and uh, give ourselves an opportunity to, to host that trophy. D Wade's done it once, and I've been working my tail off for eight years to try it, to do it. And uh, you know, this is a big step. Exactly. For us. We got to win all the hustle plays tonight, dog. Start from the jump, man. This is what it's about right here, man. The way of our championship, man. For most of this series, it seemed that the Mavericks had been chasing the Heat constantly having to come from behind. Let's go! But this time, they were determined to set the pace. Here's Kidd, a steal off a Bibby pass, on the way, lays it in with the left hand at the left of the rim. Picked up by Marion, he drives on James, spins on him, in the lane. And the Mavs with this tempo have already taken control of this game. With their hot start, the Mavericks had everything going their way. And to make matters worse for the Heat, Dwayne Wade left with a hip contusion. Yeah, not the sight Miami Heat fans want to see. But with one star down, another step forward to carry the Heat. James throws it down. Miami is going to take the lead. And when Wade made his return, Miami appeared just as dynamic as ever. Wade, tough shot, backs it in. Hip looked pretty good there. Play with your feet and your body now. Stay on the ground, stay on the ground. But after four games of trying to crack the stifling Heat defense, this would be the night that Dallas broke through. Down low, Chandler dunks the ball as again he slipped the pick. And I think finally the offense started clicking. Everybody stepped up. Dirt on the move, spinning left, got the step, left hand layup, good over Bosch. We got hot in that game. I think JJ was phenomenal, making shots from everywhere. Berea for three. The hot shooting continues. They're six of eight from downtown. We finally got an uh, offensive rhythm against this team. Baseline found Marion. Wraparound feed to Kidd. Straight away three. Good! It's about time. It's five games that we've been waiting for this. Nowitzki, high arcing three. Oh! A rainbow goes through. What a shooting clinic from three-point range. Nine of 13. It's an important time right now. Okay, let's stay aggressive. For all their hot shooting and high scoring, the Mavericks just couldn't shake the heat. And LeBron on the run. In there with a layup is Dwayne Wade. Miami within one now. And LeBron James with a triple-double. Kids on Wade. Wade sets, puts it up. Got it! Wade from downtown, his first trade. 9-0 run by Miami. In this tight, intense series, the teams were fighting down to the wire yet again. But in the closing minutes, with the finals up for grabs, it was the Mavericks who would lift their play to a higher level. Nowitzki, quick move, and the finish! This is one of the best final games I have ever seen. Low, 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 low! Back out the kid! Kill shot! Got it! The to the Looked so good for the Heat, and then it just all seemed to fall apart. Finally, the Mavs were able to pull away, and fittingly, it was their long-range shooting that put them over the top. Terry, a long three. Got it! And the Mavericks are one win away from an NBA championship. What a performance from the veteran Dallas Mavericks. We got one to go. It's been a long journey. It's not over yet. We made shots tonight. We got us to win, baby. Home for the bandits, man. That's why we worked all year. Headed back home. Everybody wears all black. That's our ritual and closeout games. Got to get it done. Since the start of the postseason, the Mavericks have said the time is now. Well, the time can be now for their veteran team, so many of them so accomplished in their NBA history, but none owning an NBA championship.
we know we have a great chance. We don't want to go to Game 7, so we're going to give it all tonight. The Mavericks are looking focused and ready as they're one win away from their championship dreams. The favorite Miami Heat, one loss away from a bitter ending to their season. It's by any means necessary, man. Simple as that. Bring it on in, man. Here we go. Sure, man. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Dominate! Welcome to the American Airlines Arena for Game 6 of the 2011 NBA Finals. Keep for the anthem. Ready, 15. Walking them up. Take 15. Ready, dash. Insert. Tom is right corner. To James with six on the clock. Takes a three. And hits. So James hits a three to break the seal on this one. The perfect start for LeBron James and Miami. Composure, all right? Composure. Play through this. Play through this. Here's Jerry driving on Miller. Down the way, under, and up, and scores it with a scoop shot. For the Mavs, they've got to keep the foot on the throttle. Turns the corner down the lane, and will lob it up for Chandler, who throws it down. Rhea has been unstoppable getting it into the paint. Stevenson sets, puts up another, knocks it down again. The Mavericks have their first double-digit lead in the series as Eric Spolstra takes a timeout. We are tough enough to get this. We are tough enough to get this. Okay. Chandler, walk my way! And back with it comes Chandler. Now on the wing, house for three. Got it! And Miami leads by two in the midst of a 14-0 run. Boy, has Terry turned her around last couple of games. It's some huge shots, especially down the stretch of the two wins in games four and five. Terry to drive to the basket on any house and connect. 14 points in 14 minutes off the bench. Wide open three. Bang, Terry! Oh, he's shooting lights out, and Miami is paying dearly. Second half. <laughs> It's just got to be a relentless, relentless defensive effort. Our offense will take care of itself. Marion, the offensive rebound, and took it away from Wade, which you don't see very often. Miami getting beaten up again to start the third period. Way to hang in. Way to hang in. Everybody rebound. Way to respond. You look at the body language, and it looks like a, a heavyweight champ that realizes he, he's held on too long. He's in trouble. Nowitzki open for the three. Got it from downtown. They're 10 of 20 from three-point range. Well, we got to have mental stability and stay the course. It's going to be a long 12 minutes, guys. Long 12 minutes. Dallas has been the team that is on the fourth quarter of this series. Screen by Dirk driving right into the lane. High floater, scoop shot, good! What a playoffs this young man has had. can smell it and sense it. Oh, yeah. Throughout the playoff, Nowitzki elevating his status amongst the NBA's greats and leading this team. Jumper got it, Nowitzki! Just a different Dallas team. Gritty, tough, and now they're ready to celebrate a championship. The Mavericks have scaled the NBA playoff belt and have planted their flag. They are the NBA champions for 2010-2011. Come here, Jack! Come here, Jack! For the first time, for the first time in franchise history, the Dallas Mavericks have won the NBA championship. Congratulations to Mark Cuban, to Dima Ussery, Donnie Nelson, Coach Rick Carlisle, the amazing team that calls themselves the Dallas Mavericks, and all the fans in Texas who are Dallas Mavericks fans. I'm going to present the trophy tonight at Mark Cuban's request to the founder and first owner of the Dallas Mavericks, Donald Carter, who's up here with me with his wife, Linda Joe.
Little I want it. Little champ. Little champ. Little champ. Little champ. Little champ. Little champ. Hey. Club tricks. You already sound Club tricks. Where are they going? Who's getting in here? Oh, I love these tricks. Hey. You only live once. Remember that. Is this shorts kind of in the end? It is. Is this, is, this is this a story? Is this a story of the shortest guy in the NBA? I didn't even know that. Oh, I love doing it. Shortest story guy, BC. Ah. Body up here, as a matter of fact. All right, now the next guy, I got a couple of questions for. The next guy, I got a couple of questions for. This is how good his year was, because not only is he part of an NBA champion. Not only did he start the final three games, all Maverick victories when they wrapped up the NBA championship, but one other thing, one other thing, he's dating this universe. <laughs> you guys know him as Jose Juan Barea. They started doing it up at Northeastern University where he went to college. Jose, 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 Jose. I just want to say uh, it's, it's been a journey, it's been amazing. Uh, I'm lucky, I'm lucky to have these fans that we got. Appreciate everything you guys do for us. I'm lucky to have my coach, our coach Rick, my coaching staff, and all the, and all my teammates that have confidence in me and make my game a lot better. And World World Championship, thank you. Thanks, JJ. Oh, I think an interview is yes. about to be conducted. Hey, we didn't, we didn't understand nothing you just said. <laughs> now tell us in Puerto Rican. I was, I was thinking about it. So ahora voy a hablar español para todos para todos los latinos aquí en Texas y en todos los Estados Unidos y especialmente a mi boricua allá en la isla del El Canto. Gracias. Uh, it's a great honor to introduce each guy that uh, will come up and receive uh, their rings tonight. Starting with a guy that spent five years here, there aren't too many guys that are undrafted that go on to be starting players in the last three wins of a championship run. This guy will... Uh, This guy will go down, and I know a lot of you bought tickets just so you can see him tonight. He'll go down as one of the all-time beloved Mavs, J.J. Barea.